George Rogers Clark was, uh, at the time of the Revolutionary period, a young man in his 20s from a, not a prominent, but certainly a respectable, large Virginia family from the western part of the colony of Virginia, in the same rough neighborhood that, um, geographically, that Thomas Jefferson grew up in and James Madison not too far away. And as a young man, um, Clark, like many others, went over the mountains into what became Kentucky um, to look around, look for land, to hunt, for adventure, um, and eventually was um, important in the establishment of the first settlements in Kentucky. Um, What happened with Clark was as Indian resistance grew in two western settlements in Kentucky, Clark decided, because he was fairly well-connected, to return to Virginia to try to get some support. On paper, at least, what's now Kentucky would have been part of Virginia's colonial charter. So Clark went back because he was the uh, one of the few people in the West who could sit down with people like Patrick Henry, who was at the time the governor, or Thomas Jefferson, who was a rising lawyer and legislator. And first of all, attempt to get gunpowder, which he was able to arm twist his way into getting some gunpowder for the defense of Kentucky. Um, A year later, he was again back in Virginia, this time saying, I'd like to raise a force of men and go after the Illinois country. So young man from Virginia, fairly well connected and sought his fortune in the West 